If you have a snow blower with one of these snow cabs on it, uh, especially if you live in an area where it gets real windy, uh, you may have experienced the same problem that I did. Uh, no matter how much I tightened uh, these connections that it, where uh, the cab attaches to the handles for the snow blower, uh, when it was windy, not so much from the from the front, but when when it came from the back and it would catch inside the cab, it would blow the cab over, so it was touching the engine, touching the chute. Um, anyway, it would blow that over, and I tightened those as far as much as I could. I even went to work and uh, I took it off and I took some scraps of some old rubber inner tubes and put put some uh, pieces of rubber inner tube around the bar to see if that would uh, make it uh, stay put, and it still didn't work. So I came up with this idea. Uh, I used uh, web straps with cam buckles, and you could probably uh, do this with uh, some pieces of rope as well. Um, but I just, uh, I, I attached one end of the uh, strap to this part of the bar here, and I had to actually, the, the hook was a little bit small to fit around there, so I had to use a couple channel locks to open it up a little bit. And then I crisscrossed them so that it wouldn't be interfering uh, with any of the uh, mechanisms there and it would stay put. Because what I had to do then is uh, wrap it around, and you can see, uh, tire here you can't you got to keep it on the uh, inside toward the machine and wrap it around that part because that doesn't turn if you get it around the hub of the tire uh, where it turns obviously as, as the tire turns it's going to wear out the uh, the material on the web strap or the rope whatever you happen to use uh, but anyway go around the uh, the part there that's uh, that doesn't turn and then come back and I just found that I could hook it right here uh, this end of the thing I hooked it around this part of the bar on that side and the same area on the other side and by doing that and you can see it hooked around there and it's around the tire but not around the, uh, the part that turns and by crisscrossing them uh, that keeps it uh, from blowing up and blowing forward and, and folding up on you so a real simple fix hopefully that'll uh, help you if you've been having the same problem. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if it's found this helpful.